Welcome back. We're chatting to Audrey Motupi, who's head of inclusive banking at Standard Bank. We've been looking at Stockfills uh, as an example of, of other methods of banking and uh, other methods of saving uh, and how to engage with those communities because there is a massive amount of money, around 44 billion rand, doing the rounds in those Stockfills. Um, the Stockfills, by nature, <coughs> are social instruments. It's a gathering of people who come together once a month or whenever they deem it necessary, okay. um, they're probably all friends or they're introduced by friends and they do become friends. It's a, it's a, it's a social gathering. I would imagine that you would have to engage in that sort of manner with those sort of people. You would, you would have to be more sociable than, than we are, than we perceive a normal banker to be, which is very cold. Absolutely. I told you you look like a banker. So if you still <laughs> use the word cold, I'll just keep looking at you. <laughs> Jeremy, you're, you're you touching. Yeah. Right. Go, go, go for one here. Right there. there you go. Working Are it. we looking a little bit better now? Much better. Now you're looking like one of my customers. Okay, hopefully. cool. Getting there. I'll get you the blue overalls next time. <laughs> the, the Jeremy, you're touching on a very important thing. And it's really um, stock falls in nature are part and parcel of the DNA of part of the communities and the cultures. And within that is the so socialization. So it's around tea table, it's around a community, whether it's a burial society, you lose a loved one and the community comes together and the cooking happens together. So it's not even just about the money. So in engaging with the, the customer, you cannot only go in from a transactional point of view. You have to go in also from the humanity, uh, which is a, a word that has been used and abused many times, but it means put yourself in it mm. and engage. So if you think about what we've done at Standard Bank uh, with, the, with the access points or even the society uh, scheme account that we've got, uh, it's really about saying you can engage from a community point of view. So that, for example, that account allows at a minimum of three to four individuals to clap together, to come and save together. And for example, we'll run competitions that include winning hampers, uh, food hampers, etc. It means that we'll go in, when you visit those in individuals and meet them, you first have to engage around the rules of how they manage the stock fill. So you, you ca cannot come in as a stranger and, and make the rules. You have to come in uh, a, as a welcome guest and be part of the rules. So even the access points, uh, we were very particular about who we chose to become one of our access point owners because it had to be somebody who had some standing in the community who was trusted. And you talked about the relationship. Somebody, people would believe and because initially from a proper banking and I'm one of those, uh, there's a level of trust in this market that we had lost. So to rebuild that trust, you have to engage. If you look at so stock fills, it's based on trust. So people say, well, if all that money is circulating, uh, what about uh, crime? Uh, what about the person hosting? Do they lose the money? And you'll find majority will say to you, it's impossible no, nobody because would, uh, nobody's going to well, come in because Sarah? you're stealing from yourself. Yeah. No one wanted, exactly. Yeah. Sarah's been there for years. Exactly. Like growing up seeing Sarah run, so when she has and, an access point. And if anything, if I have a problem and I need cash, I know I can go to Sarah because she's got cash. Absolutely. And she will lend it to yes. me and I'll pay yes. her back in two days' yeah. time. Yeah. Um, it, it's a whole new level of engagement. It is. Um, and it must be very difficult to find the right people to do that sort of mm -hmm. job. And I know we're harping on about the banking industry. We may be sounding, making them sound really wor a lot worse than they are. But it's a, it's a, it's a 180 degree mind shift change, this. Yeah, it is. And, and that's why um, I can't say enough how much I love my job because Standard Bank, it's a huge investment. So for, for a bank like Standard Bank, a top bank, 151 years, to think differently, actually drastically around the investment in technology and the types of people uh, and being part of the community and banking the, the majority of the customers is saying something. It's saying we need to be relevant around that. The type of person you're looking for, so as an example, when we acquire accounts, uh, we can open an account in the field in less than 10 minutes in the townships, in the communities, in the rural set, uh, uh, villages. Mm -hmm. And the reason we can do that is we are enabled by the technology, but we also are doing it with employees who speak the language. So it's somebody who knows respect. So they're not going to go to a gogo -go and disrespect them in how mm. they open the account. Mm. They're going to sometimes find a spot where they can make them sit down, have the conversation, and then explain in their language so they can ask the questions with dignity. So it's also bringing back that dignity into that community. So if you look at where, what we've done as Standard Bank is really saying you have to be relevant. You have to simplify your products. You have to be transparent. So I talked about the research that says we don't 
don't mind paying, but tell me what I'm paying, what I'm for. paying for. So a lot of the, 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 <coughs> the account, the, the transaction account in the space has no monthly fees. Why? Because when we open the account, I say, Jeremy, if you put in your 50 rand and you keep your money in there, you'll find your 50 rand. It will not be 49 rand 50 or 35 or 36 rand. You're building trust because you're saying the monthly ch there's no monthly charge. However, if you go to a branch or if you go and transact and send money or receive money, there will be, there'll be a fee. If you transfer money or to a loved one in Pumalanga and you're in Joburg, you'll pay 950 for the transfer. But your loved one doesn't have to pay 20 rand to get a taxi. They can walk to Sarah and they've saved the 20 rand and they've received 100 rand from you. Mm. So it's, it's, it's actually unusual banking and it's not dissimilar to the trends we're seeing worldwide. We've been privileged to be part of a group with five banks across the world that are looking at this market in detail and the research. And you'll see that the trend is about connecting. The trend is about being relevant. It's about simplifying and it's about treating every customer with the respect they deserve. The point you made earlier, the man in the blue overalls, watch out, that's a customer. The, uh, something you've just said suddenly made me think. So are you saying you, you're engaging with five other banks around the world? <coughs> Excuse me, are there other communities around the world who have similar sort of products uh, that have things like stock fills yeah. around? It's, it's amazing you ask. The answer is yes, but they call them different things. Yeah. So we did recently a study and we actually had an, uh, an expert, uh, uh, Dr. Daryl Collins, that we worked with who's been doing what they call financial diaries, and we've done some in South Africa as well, where you really follow on a weekly, monthly basis to track the behavior person, per patterns financially. And for example, in Kenya, we they did work with ICICI Bank that we also partner with in that, and in the, uh, in the Equity Bank, sorry, in Kenya, and ICICI Bank in India. And both in Kenya or in India, there's, there's the same behavior pattern. In Kenya, funny enough, uh, we found that the pattern was more around the community, they call it Harambi. So if, if Jeremy's got a scholarship and he needs to go to London, funny enough there it's different, education's key. So somehow they collected to get money, to get you on a plane, to give you your pocket money, and it's been going on for years because the focus is around education. So w some w across the world, the need to save or the need to find your own instrument, we happen to call it stock in South Africa, but it, it happens where the collectives, they're saving groups, they're in form of saving groups or collectives or societies. Ours are stock fills that are broken down into barrier societies, uh, grocery uh, groups, uh, holiday clubs. Um, somebody asked the question the other day, what about the young professionals emerging? You'll be surprised, they're also part of stock fills because they're holiday clubs, they're investment clubs. Uh, we've seen uh, stock fills that are emerging where people want to buy BE shares. So the sophisticated nature of stock fills is beyond around a kitchen table with cookies and money for burial. It's actually taking that as an instrument financially and saying, I want to save and I want to fulfill my need, but I want to plan towards that need and I want to do it with others. Okay, two points I want to pick up on briefly. Firstly, would you say that these sort of, let's call them stock fills because we understand that word, yes. but anywhere in the world, come about in societies where people need to actually look after each other and there is a hereditary um, social nature of, of our word Ubuntu. Yes, the, the <coughs> you said that that's quite interesting because the, the when we did the research, um, if you look at Kenya or India, and we did uh, also Colombia, Latin America and Mexico, if it's the communities where there's an implicit nature around Ubuntu. So there's something about looking after each other. And funny enough, they're taking some of those learnings and they're now taking them back to the, 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 the States. So the, the researchers are Americans and they're saying they could learn more about the, the, the concept of engaging financially through caring. So it's bringing the heart to the money, if, you, if that makes yeah. sense. Okay, now then having said that, with the new generation coming through, which is very different, uh, it's, it's a, it's a uh, instant gratification yes. um, group that has started coming through now. You're saying that they are still being part of mm -hmm. Stockfields. I suppose it's almost something that comes with the culture. Mm -hmm. Do you see the nature of Stockfields changing because of the different aspirational needs mm -hmm. of that Stockfield member? I think the, the generational 
issue is key. So you'll see that uh, we still have stockfalls and society schemes, society scheme account holders who'll save for the pots. I talked about the AMC pots. Yeah. And then you'll see the youngsters who, it's less the instant gratification, but it's the aspirational factor of holidays. So mm -hmm. there's, there's a lifestyle factor that's bringing them together. And if they're coming together, they're going to save money together. We had a caller uh, in one of the interviews I had who, who said, well, I'm young, I'm not old, I'm not like my aunt who's collecting the money. But I've got uh, four stockfalls. My husband calls me the stockfall queen, she said. I've got the stockfall for the ports, I've got the stockfall for investments, the stockfall for the holidays, the stockfall for the burial societies. So even though it's generational, you'll find that in one individual, they've categorized and segmented the need and find that they're part of more than one stockfall depending on their lifestyle. So I think we, it's going to be here for, to stay for a very long time because it's been working. 44 billion rand is not pocket money. Uh, yeah. 44 billion rand tells you that there's a foundation uh, within the culture, within the, the understanding of financial need, and within the need to actually uh, gratify yourself without rushing to get a bank loan instantly. It's a communal way of doing it. It's a way I trust. It's the way my grandmother did it. It can't be that bad. And I'm saying from a banking point of view, we're saying, how do we now tap into that and create the same feeling through the products we're designing, which we are, the access save, the society scheme, without destroying the essence, which you refer to as Ubuntu, of why they work in the first place. And why they have worked for so yes. long. Yes. And as you say, will probably continue to work well, for, for a, long, long time. a long time. I would imagine as well with um, social factors that come into play here, things like rising unemployment, mm -hmm. which is not looking like it's getting any yeah. better, um, rising costs, spiralling costs due to electricity hikes and everything else that goes with it, um, people will be forced to come together and start looking after each other because sure as heck there's nobody else looking after you. No, and, and it's right and we're seeing it. So when I say I love my job, um, when you're given a challenge you have to take it. So one of the things we heard is that the market doesn't save. So we created the savings product which mimicked the needs of the customer as opposed to what we thought would be the features. And in less than six months uh, there were over 600,000 accounts open active and when you look at it now it shows you that actually people are, are taking time and it's it's a market where with uh, the fuel prices will impact the mm. taxi fare mm. the fuel prices will impact the oil the millimil the, the milk and the bread but in their planning of a, if they have a hundred rand we're seeing that they'll take that 10 rand and they'll put it in the savings account so there's a whole sentiment around putting aside for a rainy day and you'll find that the, the group construct does two things one it helps socialize but it creates a peer pressure and and gives you the the, the, the hope that whatever you're doing makes sense so it, it, there's an end in sight which is whether it's in a year or a month's time or in three months time when it's my time to take the the money because you know the way the stock falls work uh, when you host you get the money mm. and some of them wait until christmas when my share comes i know in december um i will have the money yeah yeah Another thing you raised there, which we haven't got time to go into, but was, which is vital in this whole uh, continuum of the stock fill is the peer pressure because yes. people are having their peers going, hey, Baba, Pay back. 25 <laughs> rand, yes. where's true. your 25 rand? It's true. Yeah. yeah. It's a great way to get save yeah. is peer pressure. Absolutely. It's a great way to achieve a lot of things. Absolutely. Well, we thank you very much for your time. It was fascinating talking to you. Thank you. You can put your tie back now. No, no, no. Why? <laughs> That's all we have time for. Thank Remember, you. if you have any comments, queries or suggestions, you can email us at moneysense at abn360.com. <laughs>